In this video, I want to talk about how to create layers in AutoCAD. Um, so what we want to do is basically turn your floor plan from this to something like this, where it's clean and organized and easy to use. Uh, the final result should be something like this. This is what we want to get to. Uh, I'll provide a download link for this specific uh, for these specific objects, or you can download it for free and use it for your projects. This should be good for architecture or interior design projects. Um, but anyway, um, this video assumes you already know what layers are good for. In case not, I did a video where I talk about it. You can check it on the top. Um, and also, this is using AutoCAD for Mac. So for Windows users, the interface is different, but the concepts are the same. So you should be able to follow along. All right. Moving forward, so like I mentioned, the goal is to get to something like this. Uh, this is the file I'll provide. So we're gonna create now a new, a new AutoCAD file, and we're just gonna do this from scratch, just to show you like the settings, the couple of settings that you wanna add, and you know make it make it easy going. Okay, here is a polyline or a line. I'm just doing this so we assign the layers. Maybe we will use it, maybe not. But anyway, the layers window is on the right side for me. In case it's not for you, if you don't see it, what you want to do is go to Format, and then you can select it from here, and it will appear. You can do Command 4. That will make it appear. And for the sake of this tutorial, it's better to actually pop it open, like take it out from the dock and have it open in front of us so we can easily look at it and like do all the layers that we want. Okay, so I'm going to click here to create a new layer. Um, again, Windows users, it's gonna be it's gonna be somewhere uh, in your interface as well, so you'll figure that out. And okay, let's go. So I'm gonna do this. So let's do APL. So APL um, PL stands for property line. Um, that's like one layer I like to use. It's really thick, and I think you should too. If you're doing architecture, to your design, maybe this is not really handy for you. Um, you can substitute it with something else. So I like to do walls, doors, windows. I'm just going to name these quickly, um, hopefully quickly. So what else we need? We also have furniture. I like to do a layer for the casework. I like to call it fern dash casework. And then um, let's do one for equipment. And then let's do one for fixtures, fixtures. And then the next one is the annotation elements. I like one for text and I like one for dimensions. Okay, and then I'll do one for um, I'll do one for the hatch for the hatch object, and I'll just do another layer. And this one I call a title block. Uh, now, in case you don't know what a title block is, I'll show you what it is. Let me back this to the right. So if you look, uh, if you look here, I'm gonna go to one of these sheets. This object right here is a title block. Um, basically, I like to put it on a specific layer. Uh, it's up to you if you don't want to, like, all objects in AutoCAD need to be sitting on a layer or assigned a layer. You can leave it on the zero layer and you should be fine. Okay, so let's go back to our empty file and let's undock the layer manager. Um, and okay, I guess we have our list here. Um, first thing I like to switch is the colors. Obviously, once you have this, you don't have to do this ever again, hopefully, because you want to do this once for your projects and then just use it forever. Uh, so this is like a one-time kind of setting, but it's good, you know, like to show you potentially a good flow to go with this. I'm doing this quickly um, for Windows. I like yellow. And in case what you're wondering what's the A stands for at the beginning of the layer, it's just to denote architecture. You can do ID for interior design. You can put your initials if you want. It's just good to put some kind of initial at the beginning of the layers. Uh, like potentially to differentiate yours from some other professional you might work with on this same CAD file. You could use your initials. I was using my initials before, but now I just do this. All right, so walls are green. Uh, by the way, the colors, the reason for them, I just really like this combination. If you'd like to go with a different combination, you are more than welcome to choose something different, whatever is easy on your eyes to look at every day if you're spending hours on AutoCAD. Okay, so fixture, maybe this blue, and then equipment. I'm just going to use like a light green and casework. I guess we'll do something purple, like a light purple. Amazing. So now we have this list uh, of layers. 
Um, now what I can do, like if I want to create exactly what I showed you earlier is I can just come here and I can assign this like this. And then I'm just going to copy this, like, let's say three, and then I'll make two copies of it. And then let's do six and then more. I think we need like 10 of them. I forgot to count them. Maybe I should have done that. But anyway, you guys will be fine. It's not a big deal. Okay. Now I can keep going with this, but it's not really super important. So I guess let's, I just want to give you like the important stuff. So, um, so now we have the, the layers. So we have the colors aside. That's amazing. Uh, there's two more things I want us to do. And anyway, I will reference it here and you can reference it as well. And you can just use them straight up. So if you want, like, just go here and follow these values. I've already placed them for you. Uh, and let's talk about it. So we want to change the line weight and we want to change the line type. And I just want to show you where you change that. So uh, for the property line, I like it to be the thickest. Uh, and if you noticed, uh, I organized these based on the line weight. So this is like from the uh, thickest line all the way to the thinnest line, which is like the hatch, the annotation elements like dimension and text. Okay, so let's look into this. So let's look into the line weight first. So I wanted to do PL to be the thickest. So this one, as you can see, I'm seeing the values in millimeter um, uh, and I'm gonna choose 0 050. In case you're seeing it in inches, you can use the inches values. If you wanna switch to inches values, if you're in the US, you can basically go to the top to format. And then from here, I believe it's the line weight menu or window. And then from here, you can simply just tell it like, hey, I want to see this in inches and boom, this is how you change it. OK, it's very straightforward. And again, you you hopefully want to do this once, never do it again because it's too much work. But anyway, um, so that was the second setting we did. So I guess the first one was the name and then we did the coloring. The third one was doing the uh, line weight. And now the fourth one is going to be the line type. Um, now, if you're still watching this, I hope you like and subscribe. I try to share a lot of tips and tricks about AutoCAD and I'm planning to produce a lot more content. So that was that and we keep going. So now we're going to talk about the line type. So what is the line type? So the line type is how the line will look like. So um, I wasn't planning to really cover that, but uh, basically there's dash line and then there's a center line. And again, I don't want to go too much through them. I'm assuming you know what these are. And again, you can watch the other video to look into them. So how to assign or load new uh, line types. Uh, by default, AutoCAD only has one type. It's called continuous, which is, as you can see, the line is straight. But we can manage it. And we can come here to that window. We arrive to it from clicking that. And then we're going to click load. And this is going to load a ginormous list uh, of line types. Um, you can, I think you can stretch it. If yours is something like this, you could just stretch it. I think it's really nice to look at it easily. So I'm going to load the center, uh, and I'm going to hit, okay. So that's what I use for polyline. I use the center. So now it looks something like this. Amazing. You can see it immediately. Um, and then for the, okay, I guess I missed a layer and I'm going to call that one hidden. Okay. So this is just to signify objects that are like not visible that should be above the floor plan or below the floor plan um or you want to like do something schematic so this is the layer for that um let me see if i have an example to show here um uh, i think i don't have i haven't used it in this floor plan honestly um, but let's say i want to signify here that i have uh, a ceiling above um so i would uh, i would use it or something like that okay so something like this just to show i have a lower ceiling here um that's that's what it signifies hope this helps okay so we go back here um so we're gonna do the other one i like to use hidden two um and hidden two somewhere here can't see it okay here we go it's this one so we hit okay so that one goes for this one. So just so you know, once you click load, it doesn't get assigned. I've done this mistake before where I go, I load, but I don't assign what it is. So here we go. So now it's assigned and we're all um, good. So yeah, I mean, I can sit and do each one of them, but you guys get it. Uh, last thing I would like to mention in this video, I made a tutorial that walks us through how I did this floor plan. 
step by step. You can watch that. Like I said, I'll put the download link at the bottom in the description. And thank you for watching.